Hey guys, it's your girl Pixie and I'm back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome to Pixie's World. And if you guys are not new, welcome back. Um, today's video is going to be a Sugar Falls video. And this is about the nitty gritty of the, of, of, um, you know, the stripper shit. Like, I know I told you guys about the, the glitz and the glam and all that, but this video is about getting to the nitty gritty, the real tea, the real talk, the battles you gotta deal with. Um, but before we get into the video, guys, please like, please comment, please share, please subscribe, and please be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms. Okay, guys, stripper files, the nitty gritty. Um, I know that I usually tell you guys about like the glitz and the glam and the, you know, the shoes and the outfits and all that, but I want to talk about the stuff other than just the 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 basic stripper 101, like not the the stuff that they don't tell you, the stuff that you need to know about the grinding and the, like basically the setbacks and the, the nitty gritty of once you get the outfits, once you get the clothes, once you get to this, like how to conduct yourself or like just like most so like building up your game plan and you know, like, let me just get into it. So you know how when you have a business, it's rules and regulations or stuff that you got to keep in mind when you start in the business. It's the same thing as you know dancing you you're an entrepreneur you're building your own brand you're building your own business and you have to be very careful about certain things when you are building a business whether you're doing this full-time part-time whatever the case may be like i said because i know some girls don't do this full-time i don't do it full-time i may i may not sometimes right now i'm doing it right now i'm doing it full-time but i don't know if that's going to be what I'm what I'm what I'm going to do because soon I'm trying to have like multiple income so you know with my outfits and other stuff so I don't know how this is going to be full time or more so like I'm in the transition of trying to make it like a part time but like getting out of just doing it in my city because y'all know I have traveled but like not as much as I would like to or you know I haven't done it in a while so I'm trying to in my head I'm trying to get it to it's like all right I'm doing this twice a month and making a bag somewhere else what whatever it don't even matter that don't even matter um i just want to tell you guys just like the 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 business 101 side the the growth the growth the stuff you gotta look at look look out for for yourself like basically look out for you like this is the look out for you part of um the the stripper files that i don't know if i ever you know told you guys um First thing that I'm going to say is don't make no friends. And what I mean by that is like you can have a girl that you cool with. You can have a girl that you, you know, okay with. But it's just like, like I said, when you're trying to start your business, when you're trying to start something for yourself, you have to really be careful about who you have in your social perimeter, Um, should I say. You can't be friends with the girl that's always drinking. You can't be friends with the girl that's always partying. You can't be girl friends with the girls that they don't have no priorities because if you're if you're if you're with five non priority type females, you're gonna be the six. Like I said, this is a business. This is and it's not even just a business. It's a you're cre you're inventing yourself. You are just like if you were trying to start over as a person, you would have to cut off certain people who don't resonate with what you're trying to go through your future. Like I said, whether this is part-time or whether this is full-time, like wherever you're trying to go, you got to move. Like that's where you're trying to go and you can't take everybody with you. Um, so like I said, you can have girls that, you know, you cool with or, you know, girls that you bang with a little bit, but like, your feel may be different. You What she doing in the stripper game may be different than what you doing in the stripper game. Like, you can have girls that you're networking with and you da-da-da-da-da, but, like, you got to keep people at a distance. Like, you can't, you got to be careful who who's in your mindset and who's part of the plan and part of the operation, you know what I mean? Because when it's time to cut slices of that pie, 
Some of them people ain't gonna be worth cutting them slices of their pie, and some of them people ain't gonna be slight cutting the slices of their pie. So you do have to really be careful um about who you're letting in your circle and who's affecting your business because it's, 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 it's like I said, it's a business, it's a brand, it's a reinventing yourself, it's a just like how you have to start reinventing yourself over and start over. You have to do the same thing with every single business. You want to start an online business. You want to start a stripper. You're a business. You're a business, babe. You're a mobile business, period, point blank. Um, and you just have to be careful with the people that you're um, surrounding yourself with. Um, the next thing that I'm going to say is, like I just said, it's a business. Like, you don't get paid if you don't show up. Um... I used to, and I've changed my mind about this. I've used to be like, I'm not, now I don't, I don't necessarily want to be on nobody flyer, but like you have to network where you're going to be at. You have to post where you're going to be. I used to be like, I ain't doing that. I ain't promoting, but you might have somebody that's sitting home that don't got nothing to do or not doing nothing. And they might see, oh, you popping out. Like, oh, you know what? I'm going to come see you. And it's not even just for the club. You have to do it for yourself. You have to give yourself that exposure. And I I slept on that. I, I'm not even going to lie to you. I slept on that. Um, it, it ain't it ain't. Don't just think about it as them. It's you. Like this is people that might not want to come to the club, but they might want to book you. And if they see how you move and they see what you're doing, I'm not saying you gotta twerk and nothing. Cause me personally, I don't twerk on my. I don't twerk like. I, that's what y'all come to the club to see. So, like, if y'all doing, like, a split or a pole trick or something like that or just in your cute outfit, whatever, fine. But, like, I'm not telling y'all don't even twerk. I just don't do it because people take them videos to try to put them on their they site and advertise you. And I'm just, I don't, I don't, I don't need them as exposure. Y'all see what I'm doing. Y'all see I got tricks. Y'all gonna come, you know what I mean? So, um, don't sleep on uh, promoting yourself. Um, guys, don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on it. just where you're going to be at the night and what you're getting into. Like, you know what I mean? Um, what, I, what am I going to say? Um, like I said, it's the same thing as you having your own business. Are you branding? Are you trying to get your nails out there? Are you trying to get your outfits out there? Are you trying to get your artwork out there? Like, you got to brand it. You got to put it out there. You got to, you have to put it out there. So, um, yeah, guys, that's that. Um, the next thing that I'm going to say is, like I said, just going back to these two things, this is a business. Like, I know it's fun because you in the club, you dancing, but it's really not fun. And you know, when people be telling me, like, oh, yeah, because y'all you, get to have fun at the club, it's, it's, it's not fun. Like, I'm not saying it's boring. I'm not saying that it's, it's, it's not easy going. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that it's a terrible job or nothing like that but i'm saying it's not fun like it's not you, you, they be like oh you get you party it's not the same thing like you not you not going to the club and you just chilling with people and it's like oh the, no you trying to keep you you're a, you're a sales person you're trying to get people to put you trying to get people to give you their money and then it's like you a dancer so if they're not doing nothing with you and all they're doing is just really touching on you or get to see you you have to pull out, really convince people to give you their money just for you to kind of sit there and look pretty in their face or let this. I'm like, they, I'm not saying they're not getting nothing out of it, but it's just like you, you, you're a salesperson. You have to convince these people to give up your money. Like, period, point. But, and um, it's not like it's a job where you serving food or you delivering. It's like they're not obligated to give you this money. So you have to really pull this person out. Pulling money out their pocket. You you really gotta be persuasive and know how to talk to people and be nice and you know what I mean. And they might tell you no. Where do you, you want to clock? You gonna get paid regardless. Like you just gotta show up. So it's like, guys, no. Like it's not. It's it's, it's, it's I'm not saying it's bad, but it's not fun. Like it's not. It's just not fun. Um, the next thing, like I said, don't be drinking, don't be, don't get too drunk, don't get, like, yes, it is a little more relaxed environment, but you're supposed to be focusing on your money. How are you going to focus on your money and you drunk and you all gossiping this? And because most of the time you drunk, you want to talk, you're talking too much, are you, are you listening to somebody? And it's a lot of time, I'm pretty sure I talked about this in my videos before, but it's a lot of times where you get distracted because you're outside talking to girls or like, I'll see like, It'd be one girl. She came in from just smoking. 
Then her other friend come up and now she wants smoke, so now she back outside again. And then it's just like, when are you having time to make money when you, 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 you out there, you smoking? Like, you know what I mean? Like, and I mean, I know I say this in all my videos. You got to invest in yourself, guys. You got to get new inventory, new outfits, new this, new that, new shoes. Not, like, that's, that's explanatory. Like, you got to invest in yourself with your outfits, your pool, stuff like that. Like, you, that's, that's a given. Like, I, I, I think I made that clear in all my videos. Um... Got y'all gotta y'all gotta take y'all gotta take heat and transportation. How you gonna get there? Like, if your car is messed up and my car down right now, you gotta think about that. As you is this close by, that's money you gotta shell out to get there and get back. So not only is you paying to get in, but you pay into you pay into to, to, to your transportation. Did you eat that day? You probably paying for food, whatever. Like, um, that's another thing you gotta take that consideration, and that's coming out of all your money for your expenses. So you really don't got time to be, be playing around. Like you know what I mean? Um, you you got grind. Like you you got grind. So it's like you you might like I say you might have to pay for food. That's extra money a day. Food is expensive now, um, guys or whatever. And another thing, saving like. This money comes so fast that you, oh, I'll make it tomorrow. Oh, I'll make it tomorrow. I'll make it tomorrow. And then you, you look up and then you ain't saved nothing. And like I said, with this, with the cost of getting in there and the transportation and outfits and makeup, like you're paying for, you're paying for like three or four things before you even pay to even get money for your bills. And what I mean by that is like, say you work in a regular job. Yeah, you got to worry about your little trans pass or your gas money. But then you get the money and then you, that's that. But when you, and, and, or like uniform too, that's that. But when you, when you, like, well, no, most of the time they jobs provide you with a uniform or it's a uniform. So you you wear, you buy in the uniform one time and you buy some non-slip shoes or whatever. And then you only got to buy that one time, maybe twice a year, once every other year or whatever. But that's not like that when you're a dancer. You got to buy new outfits all the time. You got to pay for your hair all the time. You got to pay for transportation all the time. You know what I mean? You, you Nine times out of ten, you're not going to want to get on the bus. When you're coming home from a regular job, you're going to get on the bus. You paid your little $25 for the week for your little trans pass. But when you're dancing, that's $25 or $30 or $15. There, that's $15 back. That's, you know what I mean? Like, you got to pay for outfits. You got to pay for your hair. You got to pay for your door fee. You got to pay to eat. That's before you even get a chance to even pay your bills. Like, you know what I mean? So, let's just add that all up. Let's say, let's say transportation there and back. Let's just say it's about $20. That's $40, right? Let's say your door fee is about $30. That's, 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 that's $70 right there. You want to get your, you want, you got to get a new outfit. Let's say you get a new outfit like every week or two. Let's just say one outfit costs $50. So that's $120 right there. You know what I mean? And then you, I ain't say the food you want to eat. Let's say you spending $20 a day on food. That's $140 right there. Just on that. So that door fee, you got to make that back before your day out. So, cause say you don't make, say you don't make no money. You got to at least make that money back to be able to afford you to come in the club at next day. Like, if you don't make nothing. Because some nights you're not going to make nothing. It just happens. Or you're only going to make a little bit. But you still got to think about, damn, what I'm going to eat. What I'm going to this. What I'm going to that. Whereas opposed to you working at a regular job, you nine times out of ten, you probably could eat at the job. You probably got friends that's probably eating at the job. You could share something with them. You know what I mean? You might have somebody that's got a ride that you, you know you could get a ride with. We give them like five ten dollars for gas or something. And but you wearing that same uniform. You don't gotta buy new outfits. You like like I'm not saying don't don't look a mess with your hair not done, but and then I even include the makeup, like makeup and and it, and it's not even just money. It's time. It's time you putting in to learn and to grow and. You know, the lessons that you got to put in, you might have to pay for some pole classes. You, you Or even if you're not paying, you're going to have to be a little shitty for a little while until you learn your own skills, your own whatever. You know what I mean? Y'all got to consider all of that. Like like I said, I know I always tell you about the glamorous side and the, the nails and the pole trick and getting cute and showing up. But we not even talking about the other stuff. I ain't even tell you about the other stuff. Um... Uh, what else? I, what else do I want to say to you guys? I ain't trying to make this uh, 
all along but like i i'm i'm, I'm, I'm just trying to tell y'all stuff that like that you don't consider that you know just when you when you when you besides all the other stuff when you are you got the you got the outfits you got the hair and then what like you gotta consider that kind of stuff um savings like i said you might not make it that night you might have blew all your money so you might have to you might have to pull out your saving money and take some money and try again you know what i mean every door fee is different some 25 some 30 some 50 some 60 you know what i mean um that too like um and like I said, going back to the ad and like posting yourself, you might need somebody come in there that you know to save the day for you one time. I, that had happened to me plenty of times. So like, you just gotta, you you gotta take all that stuff into consideration when you when you when you when you out here on the grind. Like, this ain't no money that is like, all right, you gonna get it in two weeks, and then you could start all over again. Like, no, you gotta grind every day because if you don't. You will and that has happened to me a lot of times. That has happened to me recently. Like I'll look up and four days have went past and I ain't go to the club and now I'm 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 back scrounging and scrunching. That has happened to me a lot of times. Like you really can't be lazy in this game now. If you got other incomes, then yeah, fine. But if you that's the only thing you doing, you gotta grind. You gotta grind. That money run out. You know what I mean? We get comfortable, oh, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. Some days you don't get it. Or some days you only get enough to just pay to get home. And get something to eat. Like, you know what I mean? So, just that, like I said, pay attention to, like, don't drink too much. Don't overindulge. This is this is not this is not an hourly job where it's just, like, as long as you show up, you're getting paid. This is, if you don't show up, you don't get paid. So, you don't got, Tom is really money. Like, Tom is really money in the club. Um, I'm going to just say that or whatever. And, um... I, I, it's a recession going on. I don't know what's going on, but a lot of people, the clubs, in it's summertime. Like a lot of in Philly, I'll speak for Philly. It's kind of slow in Philly and around the summertime. It's always like that. That's not really nothing new. That's just a Philly thing. So people's not spending the same money on you as they spending in the winter time. So you gotta get through these seasons. You know what I mean? And it's okay. You are gonna be fine, guys. Y'all gonna be fine. You just y'all must just put that out there. Y'all gonna be fine, but. It's, it's, it's grind. Like, it's grind. It's grind. Um, but that's why you're supposed to be tramping all winter so you could kind of chill all summer. But, you know, we, we we out here learning and we out here growing or whatever. Um, but um, I think I made this video kind of long. If it's anything else I remember or y'all want to hear about that I didn't talk about or cover, um, please be sure to comment and I got y'all. Um, you know, I pretty, I've got plenty more stripper videos to come from. And um, you already know what I'm going to say next. Please pray to God. Please protect y'all. Peace. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Yeah.